Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Masi Art. Today I'm in the CBD of Nairobi. That's the capital of Kenya. So, on this special edition, I'm going to focus on NMS. If you don't know what NMS is and you're a Kenyan, basically it means Nairobi Metropolitan Services. We're going to look at what is NMS doing? How are the projects of NMS? Is it a success story? Now, the NMS falls under the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing, Urban Development and Public Works. So technically, they've been really revolving around infrastructure and transportation. So um, I got curious, what has it done so far in the CBD? Under the NMS, there's a very special project known as the Nairobi Metropolitan Service Improvement Project. Now, one thing you have to realize is that uh, this project actually is worth 330 million US dollars. It's actually a metro-wide urban development initiative under the State Department for Housing and Urban Development. The project is financed through counterpart financing by both the National Government of Kenya and the International Development Association, the IDA. Then also World Bank is involved in it. Now this project was declared effective on 17th December 2012 with an initial closing date of 30th of June 2017, which was revised. 30 September 2020. So technically it got me thinking. We have very amazing city works that have been improved. Actually, trust me, this is one project that is causing a massive change within the CBD. So I got curious today, being a Sunday, I decided to take a walk around the city streets. Now, I found this to be very, very interesting because uh, the city works have really, really, really changed, as you can see on the video. Now, the project is implemented in collaboration with five county governments, which comprises the NMR, namely, that's Nairobi, Kiambu, Machakos, Kajiado, and Muranga. Other key partners include Athi Water Services Board and Kenya Railway. I must say the projects are quite uh, many, So, but then just looking to the projects at a glance, that was as of 2020, I find that, uh, no, technically 2021 and uh, better part of uh, this year, we have more than 35 roads construction projects, we have six commuter rail stations, we have sewerage and stormwater projects, we also have ongoing market projects, we have disaster and emergency preparedness, integrated urban water development, but then today I think I'm focusing mostly on the roads construction projects. And uh, I think, uh, let's just have a look. You can see this is uh, really, really improved. It never used to be like that. It has actually been renovated. So I'm actually cutting a course from the city walk all the way to the Haley Selassie uh, Avenue. So technically, I'm looking into how was this place like? I think for those people who are in Nairobi, you can see a big change. This is that area that is actually just cutting across city walk to Haley Selassie, somewhere in between the C Nairobi cinema and um, the Supreme Court stroke, you know, the, the place where you usually have the Maasai market. I must say the roads are well paved using some curb roads. Some areas are still under construction, as you can see, just right on my right side. And the place has really changed. Trust me, it looks really amazing. It looks like a, a nice modern urban center. So give me your views just in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this place. If you had ever used this uh, road before, let's say 10 years ago, how do you find it? You can also see the landscaping has really, really changed, you know. It's, it's quite interesting. It, it actually shows that the project is doing wonders in the city. Other projects under the NMS Improvement Project include um, the markets uh, renovation. We have, I think I mentioned, disaster and emergency preparedness. We also have integrated urban water management. We have security lighting, planning projects, monitoring and evaluation. Trust me, on the comment section, I just note down or rather share with me what are some of the projects you've seen going around where you come from. Let's say, for example, if you come from Nairobi, 
Are you able to identify some of the massive improvement caused by the NMS improvement project? If so, comment there. If not, comment there as well. But today I think I got fascinated with this um, walkway. I think I was very impressed by the transformation, how it used to be before and right now. And I can say also the cleanliness. There's a lot of improvement in terms of the cleanliness in the CBD. Well, I don't know about the downtown area because uh, it's been a story, you know, of discussion since time immemorial. But then technically speaking, I think there's a big, big change. This was a very nice uh, project to be started. I I'm not sure about the utilization of funds. That's not my take. But as a person, let me say as a Kenyan resident, I must say it's, uh, it's a good thing. So, according to the State Department for Housing and Urban Development, now the precise number is this, based on the projects uh, being conducted by the NMS Improvement Project. This includes the 32 roads construction projects, we have uh, six commuter rail stations, we have three sewerage and stormwater projects, we have ongoing market projects, which are seven in total, we have nine disaster and emergency preparedness and we have three integrated urban water development among others uh, I was going through the the site for the ministry and I think uh, they are happy about what they're doing I think they're doing a wonderful job now the State Department for Housing and Urban Development uh, has really really been improving so many sectors it has been working on uh, you know the Kenya Railways we have uh, they've been looking into the Nairobi Railway City the, na the National Treasury to see so as a Kenyan and as a Nairobi resident, I must say that this particular project has really, really transformed the place. It is actually visible. This is something which is really positive because um, there has been some cases where we have a project ongoing, massive, lo lots and lots of money is poured into it, but then you can't see anything. Trust me, with this NMS project, improvement project, I can say even my friends, the people I work with, they have really, really noticed a big difference. And kudos, kudos to the Ministry of um, Transport, Infrastructure, Housing, Urban Development and Public Works. You guys are doing an awesome job. We are really, really proud of you. So straight ahead, I think you can spot the Haley Selassie Avenue. And right in front of me, you can see an amazing mural. Oh my goodness. Anything with art, trust me, catches my eye. This is so much of a contemporary mural. And I, I think I really, really love how it looks like. This is amazing. This is fantastic. Don't mind the wind. It's, it's such a windy day today. Okay, you can see the, you know, the Haley Silas 7, as I said earlier on. I'm 
I'm approaching the avenue perpendicularly, but then I'm going to take the left direction while I have to stop filming from here. This one being um, right at the central bank, so technically I'm going to stop and then I just proceed on this other direction, you know. Uh, let's see if I can go all the way and then I can see whether I can take a small short walk at the Moy Avenue. Can we have a look at what the enemy is doing on the other side? Uh, so far, I think you've seen how the, you know, the walkways are super fantastic, super new. But then we want to see and explore what's happening on the other Moy Avenue side. That's how it looks like from behind. Okay, just follow me. So currently, I'm at the pedestrian walkway of the Heli Silase Avenue. On the other side, you can see it's way, way far from uh, where the vehicles are passing. And you can see NMS has tried to improve the place. Uh, there are different locations where you can just uh, sit and wait. Previously, trust me, it never used to be like this. But I think this was a very, very nice um, way of planning because uh, if you're walking around, you get tired, probably you want to wait for someone. At least you have a spot whereby you can actually just sit. And one thing I noticed is that uh, they have really, really improved, especially this particular corner, this junction that has um, Hele Selassie meeting the roundabout of the Moy Avenue. Look at that. You can just sit there, you have your phone, and it's quite spacious. It's not a scenario whereby you, you have a section which you are kind of invading someone's privacy. No, not at all. You, you get your spot, sit there, you can have a chat with someone, you can even have a meeting here, let's say those informal random meetings with, um, you know, just people maybe 10-15 minutes in town before you catch up your business. Trust me, I think NMS really thought through this project and I think uh, I'm impressed. Well, from here I think uh, this one was newly done, you can see the landscaping is new. After that I was very, very tired, extremely tired, I had to grab some coffee. As usual, I think most of you who have been following me know that I'm a coffee addict. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that was the work of the NMS Improvement Project. It was now time to hit the road and head home. I would like you to share your feedback. Give me your views, opinions, and suggestions in the comment section about all the, the NMS projects that uh, you spotted. What are your views? What do you think about it? Do you think it's an awesome project? Do you think they are doing an amazing job? Do you have any, any, anything that you might need to share? Feel free to just drop it there and remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe if you've not done so. And meanwhile, guys, I'm on the road to 1K subscribers. I only have 50. Is it 50? I have 50 people to reach me to 1K subscribers. Kindly, kindly subscribe. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna sit here.
Thank you and cheers. Thanks for watching.